Take off. Oh wow, Victor will take off. I see a uh, biplane coming in. We'll uh, wait till he clears the area. Okay, one on Victor, just hold short and let uh, I'll take away that off then. One out Victor, just can't take off, hold short and out. The biplane is landing on the parallel runway and uh, wait for that. Said cancel. Okay, door handle, let me see, door handle, okay, yeah, it's up, good. One out, Victor, ready to go. One out, Victor, ready to go. Victor, runway one step, take one out, clear for takeoff, by uh, three miles straight out, so you can see three deep, three nine four. Three miles straight out, roger. And Expo Tower, uh, Blue Highway, three Juliet Alphas, uh, four to the north, will uh, join a right down wing for uh, one step. Okay, we got it up for rotation, so we rotate.
Tesla Tower, demo 4, Green Honor Sheriff Charlie is uh, holding short 1-4. Uh, and this is where coming up over Lake Jackson. Lake Jackson is over the to the right in front of us. Yeah, these are smaller ones. 4, 3, 9, share, Charlie. 4, 3, 9, share, Charlie. Type aircraft. Type aircraft is a sport cruiser for uh, 4, 3, 9, share, Charlie. What type? Sport cruiser? Yeah, sport cruiser. Sport cruiser. Yeah, 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 and that's uh, C or F? That's centigrade. Okay. Yeah, Celsius centigrade. Charlie, cross runway 1432, hold short to Alpha, 17. Cross uh, 14, hold short of 17 for Niner Sheriff Charlie. Charlie, thank you. I'll be in the demo pattern for Niner Sheriff Charlie. Charlie, thank you. That's the Vario, so... That's the Vario, yeah. And is that a dual multifunction instrument? Does it do just regular rate of climb? Yeah, or it, 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 uh, it is a glider instrument, okay. more or less. It uh, fluctuates quite a bit sometimes, but it, it, it'll sure. help tell you what you really need to do. It's uh, more accurate than a vertical speed indicator. Okay. Roger, okay. inside. All right, here, Charlie, ready to go. Here's over now, Sheriff Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, Captain, uh, right page, runway 17, runway 17, clear take off. Clear take off, runway 17, for Niner Sheriff Charlie. Charlie, 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 Charlie,
Charlie again for another share, Charlie. I'm on final right now for another share. Okay, we're going to do clearing turn, see what's going on to the right. And our good temperatures now. are still good. For another share, Charlie. Jackson in sight. That'll be a good landmark for us. We got a nice big hole in the clouds here. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll set it up for cruise speed. We'll go into the wind, which is pretty substantial right now. Okay, 11 on out here at about 6,000 feet. See the indicated airspeed creep up a little bit. And so we're negative flaps and uh, what, let's see, the RPM 6120, uh, no, 5350, and we're going to knock it down under 5300 and that would be a normal, normal cruise, 52 to 5300. And we're continuing to speed up here. Our ground speed is only 73 knots, but our true air speed is about 107, 108 right now. Oh, yeah. And that's with all the cameras mounted on this. Right, thing. all the dirty stuff we hung yeah. off the air. And then at economy cruise, we would throttle back to about 4,400. Okay. And maintain altitude. Our, pit, our attitude is a little higher nose when we go to 4,400. Okay. And as we slow down, the RPMs will come down, but our indicator airspeed is 80 knots, and we're only burning 2.4 gallons an hour right now. Wow. That's why this won the NASA efficiency award. That, that's right. Uh, right. Say again one more time for another share, Charlie. Okay. Do a stall, so that yeah. you can experience a stall. We'll go to zero flaps. Let's do one straight ahead. I'm going to do a turn to the right to make sure we get uh, clear traffic. Yeah, all clear traffic. Don't see anything right here. And I'm looking to the left, and that looks good. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to hold the stick back here. I'm going to keep bringing the stick back. We're coming down. We're at zero flaps. Stall speed's a little under 40 knots with zero flaps, about 38 knots. Okay. And we keep pulling back, keep pulling back. And now we're actually starting a little bit of buffy. Look at the yeah, yaw string. You tell the yaw string is, is wagging back and forth. That's telling us we're actually stalled now. But I've got... Uh, aileron control, so I can still rock the ailerons. The stick is all the way back. It won't go back any further. Okay? And I have rudder controls here, too. I can actually turn a rudder, turn the aircraft with the, with the feet very slowly. And we're mushing down now at about 300 feet a minute. And we're stalled. But that's it. Recovered? This is the recovery. We're recovered. <laughs> Let the nose drop just a little uh, bit. Wonderful. You don't even have to go to power, but you're flying again just that quick. Wonderful. So. That's a well-behaved airplane. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you're cross-controlled, or if you're doing accelerated stall, you can get it to drop. A wing may drop. Very simple recovery. Release back pressure, opposite rudder. All right. So nothing, nothing special about stall characteristics. Now, now what we're going to do is the fun part. We're going to do the engine shutdown. Everything is normal. We've got Lake Jackson right here underneath us. We're above the clouds. So we've got a nice big hole to come down through. And I'm going to slow us down. Okay. Everything is good. Okay, I'm going to go to right at I got zero flaps. Well, he's yeah. caution has a vehicle in sight. You may, have, you may have noticed what I just did. I, I feathered the prop after the engine stopped. Uh, we, we turned the AD, avionics back on, and uh, we are now soaring. I keep this gauge here, and my important things, I want to make sure I got some voltage in my battery, okay. uh, which we got, 12.5. Anything over about 11, 11 and a half is plenty. All right, and everything looks good here. Our temps are good, and what I want to do now, while we got a little space and a hole here, we're gonna, that's a clearing turn, and we're gonna do a wing over. And we're going to increase speed. Watch this. We're going to let, let the nose down just a bit. We're going to get a heading of south. And as we get to 70 knots, okay, we're going to do power back up. And we're going to bank it, turn it vertical. And we come right around like that. Do 180. Oh. We pull about 2 Gs. We're 0 Gs at the top. 
equipment. Very fun. So we're zero G's. You can't stall when you're at zero G's, but the airplane will still smoothly turn on around. Okay, and our speed stays under 75 knots the whole time in that maneuver. What? We pull a maximum of about two and a half G's, I think. You tell, you tell me, I'm guessing two and a half G's. I'll let you know. Okay. All right, we have a hole here, and I don't want to go into the clouds, so we're going to circle around and, and try to come down below the hole. But this aircraft really likes to bank, easy to fly, and we got lots of range with our speed with this. I'm going to go to negative flaps so we can get the even more speed. But when you're using speed, you're losing altitude. So the plane really likes to fly at about 55, 52 knots. And that's what, you, that's what we call your best glide. But we're going to have some fun here. So we're going to increase speed. And we go zero Gs. We go down. And now we come up. And we are at 110 knots plus. And we'll do another wing over as we come around here. Very nice. Nice and smooth. Yeah, it'll bumpy, bumpy up a little bit when we get below the clouds, which we're about to do right now. And uh, I'm staying in this hole where we're nice and clear, no other aircraft in the area, so we're, we're having some fun doing some nice deep banks. And we'll do a bank the other way and look at uh, this little lake we're over right now and probably get a chance to see Lake, what do we call it? Lake Jackson down there. That's a little lake we're over right now. We've got a pretty good picture at it. Okay, all the way back on the stick because we're doing a spiral going down. And we're pulling about two G's there. And there's Lake Jackson over there. As we come under the clouds, I'm going to go ahead and head back south because the, the normal pattern for other traffic is they report in at Lake Jackson and then they go straight to Sebring Airport and I don't want to get mixed up with that traffic. Okay. So we're still at 4,500 feet and we've had a lot of fun. With little, you lose a little altitude when you're doing, doing uh, semi-aerobatics. So you fly normally out of Zephyr Hills? I do fly out of Zephyr Hills. And I'm a flight instructor there. And you get, uh, did you much uh, thermaling with the? Yeah, I have, most of my flying is with students. And okay. when I fly with students, we do some thermaling, but the, the most important thing is to make them safe with the aircraft, know all the procedures. The thermaling is the fun part. Yeah. Uh, we don't always have good thermaling weather, but we always have 80 horsepower that gets us up nice and quick. And that's what makes it such a unique aircraft for glider training. Right, you don't have to rely on a tow plane. Now the landing gear is very sturdy. Uh, we've got these Behringer brakes and they're phenomenal brakes. I've got a nice panel and the panel includes the eye level system. And, uh, that's uh, inexpensive and, and probably more importantly for a glider pilot, it uses only, essentially it uses no power. So you've got engine data with very, very little power consumption and you always want to be able to restart. Right, right. So we're looking at 12.4, we get, uh, as long as we got 11.5 or more, we're good. And we're still at 4,200, so there must be some lift here because we would be coming down faster. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, we, if we get under these clouds, I may try to put some flaps in and do some, some circles to see whether we can actually get some lift. Uh, the clouds are, cloud base is about 3,000, 3,200 feet. And the propeller is not spinning. We, we, we were seeing the top of it before, but yeah, it went it, horizontal. When we went fast, it went horizontal. I didn't do anything to make it do that. It's just the wind pushed it around a bit. Oh, yeah. Charlie. 10 miles from the south. 10 miles from the Three miles from the south. Enter a right to down one runway. Enter a right down one runway. And I saw one of these. Uh, someone had one delivered with a trailer. It looked like a Cobra trailer. Um, is anybody trying to put them in the trailers? You can put them in trailers. It takes three, this one takes three people to take the wings off. Uh, people up north do it for, they save on storage. Uh, we have a Taurus model that most people will put in the trailer and trailer it around because it's not a good cross-country machine. This, you're better off to fly it. If you want to go somewhere, fly it. You're flying real cheap. It's fun, economical, and then you soar wherever you want to. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll see whether this cloud has any, any 
film on this under, it may. Our temps are still good, we still got 66 degrees, if we needed to we could restart quickly and uh, go full power right away. Yeah, I've seen you restart after landing, it starts instantly. Usually it does. Once in a while after landing, when you don't have the wind to help it, I, I, I will not put the right amount of choke in there and I might flood it, but uh, otherwise, 90% uh, of the time, it's a very quick and easy thing. When you're in the air with the wind to help, help you start, it's, uh, it's even better. Okay, we're feeling a little kick there. Yeah, I feel some bumps. Okay, let's see if we can okay, see what this does. Going up a little bit, not fast, but we're going up. Okay. No stick thermals now. No, no. I see. Yep. Let's see. We I flew with you last in 2015, Rand, and, uh -huh. and we did actually uh, do some climate, but we didn't have negative. We we had a negative flap still in, so that hurt our. Climate. Yeah, we would have climbed better back then. Yeah, yeah. we had. We had zero flaps instead of negative flaps. Uh, we're getting, we're getting a little bit. We don't have anything strong enough here to really lift this. Right. But, uh, uh, it's been a cloudy morning. But we're still 3,200 30, 30, feet, so it's uh, and you holding got, us up pretty good. Yeah. And you got high winds that are blowing them apart. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we're, we're definitely seeing that it's easy to turn the engine off and everything keeps working. So. Uh, just need a good day for if you're going to soar, and that's true of any glider. That's right. And this one, the aircraft flies the same whether you got the engine on or off. So if you want to fly or you need to keep restarting to go back up, that's no problem. Okay, so we're still at 30, over 3,000 feet. So we are getting a little bit lift here. Not enough to, to brag about, but uh, right. there are some. Uh, there are a few thermals popping around, but they're very small. Right. November 303, Mike Charlie, 745, the breakdown. Mike Charlie, you're in the dial now. We're on the 45 now, headed for the dial. Back at any time, I, I've got 11 minutes of video on this one. Okay. And uh, all right, well let's do a couple things that will be fine. We'll go back to zero flaps, staying under 80 knots as we. And it did, did it just give you a warning that you have actually? It, was, it, it said you're going, you're almost going too fast. Okay. It'll it'll hump before you're actually beyond the flap extension speed. But that was a that was a flap speed. Uh, it's actually the gap seal tape. Okay, sure. Just kind of give me a warning. You got aircraft below and to the right. Oh, very good. Thank you. This is why we stay south. Right. Which we still are, but not very much. Because there is quite a bit of traffic back and forth. Oh, sure, yeah. sure. Okay. Other people doing demo runs. So was it foggy this morning or just... No, it was beautiful this morning. Yeah, it was actually actually very good. The first few flights were beautiful. No uh, no bumpiness at all. Blue skies. And so we're over some park roads and lakes. And You don't even feel it going down. That's the nice thing. When people see the prop stop, I get a, a people hold their breath for a second, and they realize we're not falling out of the sky. Uh, we're going to be up here for a while. That's that's what happens when I uh, we get off tow in the, in the glider, and people are nervous. Well, how can you fly without an engine? Pretty nicely. Yeah, it's a lot a lot more pleasant than having that engine making noise up there. Okay. 
lose a little bit of altitude, so I'll do one final wing over and then we'll do a restart. Yeah. Okay, we're up to 70 knots, we move over that, and we come up. And not quite 90 degrees, but uh, pretty darn close to it. And up to 70 knots. Alright, that's not really a wing over, we're just going to turn back toward the airfield and we'll, we'll announce and call to come back into the airfield. Look, we're still, we started at 2,000 feet, we're, so we're getting some thermals here because we're still at 2,000 feet. Sebring Tower, Pipistrel Motor Glider, November 331 Alpha Victor, uh, four miles to the west, southwest, and inbound for 17. be a full stop.
going so far this way. Kind of careful it doesn't blow me into the other runway. If I'm early, you'll see why.